On the Space Coast, in less than 24 hours, a newcomer in the space industry will go for a huge first, launching a rocket built almost entirely by a 3D printer. <laughs> the idea is to bring down the cost significantly of space flight and give everyday people, maybe think college students, a chance to launch their own experiments into space. And only new six space expert Eric Von Aiken has a unique inside look at the rocket and the company launching it. Lots of people, as we know, make lots of things with 3D printers, but nobody has ever made something this big with a 3D printer and tried to send it into space. I got an exclusive inside look at the factory, the main relativity space factory in Los Angeles four years ago to see how they do it and why they do it. This is Stargate. The co-founder of Relativity Space showed me the world's largest 3D metal printer, printing entire rocket sections at a time. It's so big it needs its own two-story storehouse inside this Southern California factory. The rocket engine nozzle is all one piece, and that makes it more reliable. We target under a thousand parts for our rockets. For example, the engine you saw has just three parts on it, where traditionally that can have up to 3,000 parts, and all of that is due to the printing, and that all leads into that cost and lead time reduction. Relativity is made up largely of former SpaceX engineers, and their goal is to build a rocket from scratch to space in 60 days. The first one launching from the Cape is called the Terran 1, meaning of the Earth, because it's printed with materials of the Earth, namely aluminum. 3D printing on Mars is going to be a bit of a different challenge. Relativity's ultimate goal is to put a printer on the moon and then Mars to print parts for missions without having to wait for them from Earth. This is one of our 3D printed rocket engines. For now, though, tomorrow's goal is just to put the Terran 1 into orbit with no payload. It's just a test flight called Good Luck, Have Fun. The launch tomorrow is going to be from an old recycled pad over at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Pad 16. Relativity put a whole lot of time and energy not into just rebuilding that pad, but bulldozing it, clearing all the brush because it hadn't been used in so long. If all goes well, launch is set for 1 p.m. tomorrow. For now at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6. All right, we will be watching for yeah, sure.